Hands off my waffles asks, will you ever make a serious narration? It would be really wired. Well, yes, it would be very wired, I guess, considering it's W-E-I-R-D. It's the only word in the English language that does the I before you thing backwards, except for when it's after C, of course, but you knew that already. If I ever did make one, it'd probably be boring. Pokemon Elite Guy asks, How can you make these Zamps awesome videos with really funny narrations? I have no idea. I just talk into the microphone and magic happens. What was my first starter Pokemon you ever got? Probably Charmander. I know in second gen it was Cyndaquil, third gen it was Mudkip, unfortunately, because I wanted Torchic. And in fourth gen it was Turtwig, but that's not relevant. Puddin Power asks, did you make that Intimidate picture because it was pro? Yes, I did. I made it quite a long time ago for my tag video, but I've since taken that down because that tag video sucked. Pidangelico asks, what is your favorite Pokemon type? Uh, orange. Luke, uh, Riolu 493 asks, do people ever call you sad for playing Pokemon? No, they call me happy because I seem very happy when I talk about it. I did a presentation for my public speaking class, and they seemed to enjoy it. And they were all looking forward to my presentation, so no, they don't call me sad. K CK Ulio 099, which is probably supposed to be Coolio with an extra K, but who cares. How many voice impressions can you do? Gee, I can do quite a few. I don't know exactly how many. I can't exactly count, and if I tried counting right now, it would take forever. XK Lair asks, Will you marry me? Well, um, you see, I'm kind of not an ordained minister or anything, so I don't think I can marry you. I'm sorry, you'll have to find somebody who's actually, you know, qualified. Urban Savage Nico asks, What's your favorite in you Pokemon? It's a tie between Zangoose and Quillfish, more than likely. There's quite a lot of good Pokemon out there that I like, but eh, whatever. The Green Hamburglar asks, what was it like when you started out on YouTube? Which, he didn't exactly say that, but I can't stand trying to actually read this in the way that he typed it. It was pretty much opposite of what I expected. I expected everybody to call me a banana or Jimmy ripoff, and people would start flaming me, and I wouldn't have gotten as far as I have today. Which is interesting, but uh, I personally don't think there's anything that special about my narrations or anything. But uh, If people like them, then that's cool. But I just like making videos, so... Shietti asks, Wait, why would you Destiny Bond predicting it to explode? Well, if I'm going to die anyway, why not just do it? Why waste a move? Trico lol leet with the front of the name, which obviously means this question's going to suck. Do you hack a large majority of your Pokemon? I hack the things that are metronome and whatnot. Emperor NBZ asks, Are you always really sitting? And uh, the answer is, depends on when I'm at the computer, or depends on what I'm doing. Which is obviously a joke question, but you know. And then he asks, Never used or overused novelty, which do you find more fun? Mmm, I don't know. If you ask me, the metagame's actually really kind of broken at the time of this video, which is November 1st at the time I'm doing this. And, yeah, most of the metagame is just really broken and messed up. So... I guess I like doing OU novelty. It's always fun to see what people say when you're like, Oh my god, that thing has nasty plot? Why? It's such a better physical attacker. I did like three fourths to a lantern, that's why. Nate Dog 211 Products asks, What is your favorite moveset for any Pokemon? Um, I would have to say that I really like the new Dragon Dance additions to Whiskash and Crawdont, but uh, I don't really have a favorite moveset. South Park 6666666 asks, do you, you want to roost? No, that's Jimmy. Franco Ben 37 asks, What's your fave fighting type? Um, the kind that actually fights. Who is your favorite Pokemon? Asks, I'm bored in 2000B. My favorite Pokemon? I've pretty much answered that already. Omnimon 21 asks, What is your favorite Pokemon game from the first gen to fourth gen? I'd have to say... Red and blue are really hard to beat, in the sense of not being my favorites. <laughs> I really love those games. I mean, that's the first ones I played on the original Game Boy back when I was an idiot and had like four fire moves on my Charizard. But I would have to say that if I had to pick a game based on pure quality, I would have to say Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. Those games are just really well made. Mar Mark 
Durant asks, well, Mark Durant 14 asks, could you get a battle with the Killer Nacho if you wanted? I have battled the Killer Nacho already, but does it really matter? It's not that hard to get battles with people unless you ask them nicely or if they're just jerks. XXJoe795XX, aka guy with too many letters and too many X's and too many numbers, asks, why does Honchcrow suck at flying? Because it's my Honchcrow. Banana292 says Mudquaza's a pretty cool guy. Yes, he is. Esco Shuka Burke. Yeah, let's go with that. Asks, do you poke a save? If you do, will you help me save a team? I use poke save occasionally, but I'm not one of those lazy people that just makes everything 31 IVs and every stat and cheats like that. I actually go through the process of hatching most of my Pokemon, if not all of them, unless I'm testing out a set, but then again, I normally don't upload battles where I do that. A lot of the times, I like to get my Pokemon legitimately by actually breeding or catching, and a lot of my guys actually have been bred or caught. I do use Pokesafe from time to time for the obvious hacks battles and for roulette royales and everything else, because honestly, who is going to sit there and actually make a team just to battle somebody one time with it and never use it again? And I'm unfortunately not able to help you with saving a team, because it's really not that hard to figure out. And I'm not just going to start giving people poke save things, because it's just... I don't want to do that. I don't have enough time in my hands. Tom keeps asking me to do my lines for something, and I just never get around to it, because I never have any time. Argok King asks, when do plants grow salt? When they feel like it. It's at night, when you can't see them. Because plants totally have personification. Epic Turtle 42 asks, what is the answer to the universe, the world, and everything in life? 42. Even though he asked, what if? So, if, I don't know. Shark Tamer asks, hey Tigwiz, how come you don't dance no more? You just gotta give me a chance to do a hip-hop dance. 85 Rush asks, if you could change one plot in a game, which game would it be? I would change the plot in Johto games and make it so Kanto actually has a plot. Turtle 28 Patrick says these questions. What is your favorite video game, not counting Pokemon, if that is your favorite? Tough to say. There's quite a lot of games I like. I like Mega Man, I like Puyo Puyo, I like a ton of games. Klonoa, Pokemon, Doom. Quite a lot of games. I can't pick one favorite. It's nearly impossible. I did think at one point that Sonic 2 is my favorite game, but mm, after playing it for a lot of times, you kind of tend to not like games as much anymore. What is my favorite console? Tough question as well, because I don't own that many consoles. I have a Wii and a GameCube, but I have played a lot of classic games, and I do play a lot of classic games via emulators, which is just fine by me. I'd have to say that there's quite a lot of good systems out there, but mm, I guess if I had to pick a favorite, it would be basically any handheld Nintendo's made other than the Virtual Boy, which is obviously crap. What is my favorite computer game? I'd have to say... In terms of actually being a great game overall, I have to say Doom because of all the stuff that you can do to it to make your own game out of it. But there's quite a lot of good computer games out there, especially ones that people have made, like a Mega Man 7 port and 8-bit, which was really cool. But there's quite a lot of good computer games out there, so it's hard to choose. Klaslo1234 asks, Are you bringing Sexy back? Sexy never left. Itachi0314 asks, do you think Nintendo what actually make evolutions of Pokemon that are already decent? What? The True Freak asks a really freaky question. What's your grandmother's name, and is she single? My grandma's dead, you sick perv. I can't believe you'd humiliate her in this time of thing. Don't you have any respect for the dead? Saikeo's Thoughts asks, what is your favorite Pokemon? Hasn't that been asked like three times already? x Score Ticket asks, can I get my sense of hearing back after you hit me with your hip on top? No. Spec Stab Seed Flutter does nothing to Reggie Ice. Very, very good observation, Johnny Burloom. Magnitude asks, what if I don't want to ask a question? What then? Then you just pretty much broke that because you just asked a question. Summer Zed asks, what do you look like? I look like a guy who's sitting. So yeah, thank you for your questions, and hopefully this video isn't too long. The first time I did it was 13 minutes, and I tried to do it over again, and I got under 10 minutes 59 seconds, which is the limit on YouTube. So, if you have any more questions, please ask them, and I can possibly try to get to them via PM or by 
descriptions. I don't know. I mean, I like having questions, I suppose. It's kind of fun. People like learning stuff about their favorite YouTubers and other people. And I like answering questions. I mean, it's fun. 